Where's Chef C? Uh, the clue's in the title. It's an international restaurant guide chosen by a selection of the world's best chefs. We obviously thought it was a good idea to begin with, or we wouldn't have done the guide, but what surprised me is, is how the whole thing has grown. I mean, we've ended up with recommendations from 400 chefs around the world. We've ended up with two and a half thousand restaurants. But not only that, um, you know, we, we shone a light on, on offbeat parts of the globe where I personally didn't know about restaurants, Bali, Venezuela. And not only that, but we've steered away from just the obvious choices, those fine dining destinations. Let's face it, everyone knows about anyway. This, this book's actually useful, you know, where to go for breakfast, where to go for lunch, where to go for something cheap, where to go for something that you could only find in that city or that region that, that sums up the place. And that I don't think anyone's done before on a global level, and that makes me very excited. I mean, some of the chef contributors picked themselves People like René Redzepi, Farron Adria, Neil Perry, David Chang, Heston Blumenthal, those kind of guys, it, it was obvious we were going to talk to them right from the beginning. And beyond that, it was a case of, you know, looking at a city and picking a list of who we thought were hot, interesting chefs there. It goes without saying it was a lot of hard work getting you know, over 400 chefs around the world to fill in a survey and, and come back with answers and comments. But actually, on the whole, they engaged with it really well. You know, there were some chefs, I think Neil Perry, for example, I remember he sent in his survey, then he sent in another email with more places, and he said, oh, and I forgot this one, and he sent another email with more places. I think talking to chefs to help select a restaurant guide is an interesting thing. I don't think it would have happened 20 years ago, maybe not even 10 years ago. I mean, there was a time when chefs were very much chained to their stoves, didn't get out, didn't look around. This new generation of chefs, they travel, they go to each other's restaurants, they're interested in what's going on in Sydney, what's going on in LA, what's going on in New York, what's going on wherever they go. And they travel a lot for these international conferences. And I think they've gone from making food that other people taste to being tastemakers themselves. You know, they've got palates, obviously, or they wouldn't be leading chefs. Um, but I think increasingly, they've also got really good taste in terms of things like design, service, the vibe of a place. And, and they eat around. They probably eat around as much as your average restaurant critic. Uh, I'd like to think this book is aimed at anyone that's into traveling and anyone that's into eating out. To me, the idea of having this resource of restaurants all around the world, uh, in, in the world's best cities for eating out and be able to, for example, you know, I'm in Copenhagen, I'm going to go for breakfast, where should I go? Oh, there's where Ronnie Red Zeppi likes to go for coffee. Or I'm in New York, I fancy a bowl of late night noodles, there's where David Chang thinks I should go. I think the book is a beautiful thing, but I'm really excited about the app as well, to be able to carry all of those recommendations around in your pocket very easily. And so what we've got is, is, a, is a list of restaurants, a collection of restaurants that goes beyond the obvious, quirkier, more offbeat places that you're not going to find in any other restaurant guide.